Okay. I'm, I know it's a tough time. Um, five o'clock. Everybody's probably scrambling, but I'm uh, I'm going to get moving along, uh, just because uh, everyone that signed on um, on time shouldn't be hanging around and waiting. So we'll, we'll let them jump on when they jump on. Um, the beginning is uh, is just some uh, some history um, about Trulia, and I have this as Trulia Basics. Um, it, it's Trulia Premium Listings, but it's the basic version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the beginners. Um, what it does, how it functions, how you can generate leads from it, um, a little bit about the syndication, um, and then I do have a second version of this um, that's a little bit more advanced. <clears throat> Pardon me. It'll go into um, some of the apps that you can use on your Facebook page. Um, if the um, if the attendee list doesn't get too crazy and you guys have some questions on that, um, I'll be more than happy to uh, jump at the end. Um, I typically don't like to get into advanced stuff in the middle of the webinar just because um, anyone that uh, that uh, doesn't understand it might uh, you know might get a little bored and um, or a little overwhelmed and um, I want to get through the uh, the entire webinar uh, as quickly as I can um, so uh, just for a little bit of history on this um, I'm thinking it's about two years ago it has been several years a couple of years uh, that Realty Executives International put together an agreement with Trulia uh, where the agents will be uh, would be able to take advantage of all of the Trulia Pro features without actually incurring uh, individual uh, billing. Um, in fact, there's no billing at all. This is completely free uh, to anyone within the Realty Executives Exceptional Realtors family. So although the product itself or the, the uh, program was put together through Realty Executives International, it was up to the regional developers to determine whether or not they were going to utilize that uh, within their particular brokerages and or regions. Um, Doug and Kyle realized going through Trulia, and I don't know if anybody has ever gone on there, um, going through Trulia we do have a lot of what we'll call the real estate giants, some of the um, uh, more, more known or recognized uh, brands in our area um, that are using it. For the most part, they're using it on a brokerage level, not so much to promote the individual agents. Uh, sometimes the listing agent information is there, um, sometimes the listing agent phone number is there depending on the brand, um, and then sometimes your know, listing agent information is there and their toll-free number that goes to some sort of a lead generation phone um, is there. And then we have other companies, uh, for anyone up in Sussex County, uh, we have other companies like uh, Remax Platinum um, that are not participating at all. So uh, and I'm going to show you when we get into Trulia, just what that does as far as um, listings and where the listings are displayed. Um, so again, Doug and Kyle looking at doing their homework um, on the Trulia market, on the Trulia stats. In fact, I'm going to go through, I'm going to jump through the, uh, the next slide, um, which is um, just showing you how to raise your hand. I do include that, but I'll bounce back to it when we get to the Q&A. Um, but looking at Trulia stats, um, when they go into unique buyers and sellers, well, one thing that we can tell you um, is that if you're looking at the buyer and seller market or pool um, on Trulia, on Zillow, and on Realtor.com, and you compare all three, they are all different buyers. Um, they are unique buyers. Now, uh, Zillow, you'll get some more because of that Zestimate. You'll get some. Um, you'll get more sellers. Trulia is tip and Realtor.com as well um, is typically buyers and buyers only. Now, Trulia, they found out, I guess, through surveys, and maybe that's what they do with your information when you answer a survey at the end of being on a website. Um, through surveys and statistics, um, it was determined that um, the most of the visitors, most of the buyer visitors um, that are on Trulia have a higher education level than the Realtor.com, and I believe they only did the comparison to Realtor.com, um, higher education, higher median income, and are typically not already working with a real estate agent. They are buyers. Um, they are also normally in a younger age range. Um, I guess that's that's uh, their uh, the Gen X, um, the Gen X buyers. So that being said, getting on Trulia, getting us out there, getting our listings on the top of the uh, on the food chain. And again, I will show you that when we go live on Trulia. Um, was found, you know, was really important to uh, to Doug and Kyle, and they decided to move forward. Um, and it, 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 although free to the agents, trust me, it's not free to them. Um, went and moved forward and 
joined with Realty Executives International in putting this program together for New Jersey, and it is the entire state. Uh, so again, meaning to you, what do we got going on? Well, we've got that pro at no additional cost. So I'm going to go in live really quickly, and I want to go through um, my, again, my webinars are never the pretty ones because we do go, I do go in, um, and you guys get to see everything on my screen because I hop back and forth. Um, but we're going to Trulia.com. For anyone that has not been there, uh, Trulia.com is the website. Uh, I'm going to log out of mine because I want you to see what it looks like, and I usually do log out. I'm usually pretty good with that. We're going to go back into mine. Why can't I get to the logout page? Because they've got the specialists are online to sell me something. Um, and I am going to warn you that that is going to happen quite a bit. As we go through, there's going to be a lot of flashing, um, and there's going, to be a, there's going to be a lot of wanting to um, sell me that pro, and I am going to show you why that is absolutely, positively not necessary. And I, oh, my goodness. And I think it's probably going to be easier if I just go, there we go, down the line here. Okay. So uh, Trulia.com, and again, now we're looking at it from the consumer. This is what the consumer is going to look like, uh, look at, I should say, not look like. Um, five o'clock, sorry about that. Uh, so we're going to go through, first. the first thing we're going to want to do is just show you, um, again, and I am going to do Sparta. Um, I could do, I, I, try, I tend to stick with it, not because I'm, I'm partial to Sparta, uh, but I tend to stick with, just because it's easier to look at and easier to deal with, uh, sorry, Byram, uh, but I tend to stick with a town that has its own zip code um, because when you start getting into the Byram using Andover and the Wanted using Sussex and Lafayette using something else, or what, you know, it just it gets just very confusing. Um, but it, it's it's not so terrible. Um, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to actually do zip codes rather than I'm going to go into 07871. I'm not going to get into anything specific. I just want to show you exactly what it's going to look like. So if we scoot through here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see that we've got uh, Pam and Steve. You know what? I'm not going to use Pam and Steve because they are pro. So I'd like to use um, I'd like to use somebody in the company that I know for sure um, is utilizing the Trulia just the way we have it. Um, I'm going to go into this one because I want to see something here. I'm always doing an apples to apples comparison, um, and for the longest time, the yellow company, Colo Banker, participates almost in the same fashion that we do. Um, and he may be um, he may be pro, but the uh, the yellow company, um, yeah, he is pro. It says it right underneath his name. Um, so if if your if the agent is pro, it is going to have their contact information. Always will. Um, I'm just going to click in so that you can see what some of the other brokerages look like. The best way to do it is to click on the uh, on the address, um, and she's got her uh, so Caldwell Banker. If I'm not mistaken, does participate um, in the same exact fashion that we do. I don't know who this is, so I'll pull it up and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Um, and so you're looking at a lot of the uh, the toll-free number coming up from some of them. Um, but you'll see here what will happen is, and, and maybe it, it would be better um, if I went in just to show the point. You're getting a lot of advertising here. Um, to show the point, let's go in and do a price range. And why I want to do that is because the way Trulia and some people love it, some people hate it, some people like myself, I just don't have an opinion one way or the other. Um, it is what it is. Um, but the way that they show results, you know, I'm going to go up to three. Um, the way that they show results is unusual. Um, now, what will happen here is, and it, the reason that I say that is because it, it, even though I'm putting in parameters, um, it, it, it matters and it doesn't. Um, what will happen is the pro, the pro, anybody with a pro status that has homes within this search criteria will come up first. So there's no rhyme or reason unless I go in as a consumer and, um, and change that. And I'm hoping that I hit the button and it actually did what I wanted it to. Let's scoot down. Oh, it did. It's just all the way down here. Um, it'll, they'll, typically, they will come up first within, that, within the parameters. Um, and then the premium listing users, that would be us. And then following the premium listing users would be the, would be the non-premium or the basic. Um, so even though uh, there might be a house that's listed with Remax that has the exact content we're looking for, it still may end up on page six and something maybe not so much into, you know, maybe close to what we were looking for, 
with a premium user or a pro user or even the premium listing uh, brokerages at like we are, um, they'll come up. So again, we're going to just click on here um, and just see exactly what's going on. Um, and we've got, she's, she's uh, obviously, she actually is pro and redirects, which is kind of interesting. Uh, actually, I clicked on the logo. I didn't click on the property. They redirect to the property. Now, here you go. Now, this is a, a top agent in the area, but her listing, if you click on that property for more property information, is going to that 800 toll-free uh, lead routing phone number. Um, so that means that that listing agent isn't necessarily getting that information. Uh, I'm going to do the one more here again. I'm pretty sure that Colwell Banker, um, same exact thing here, another top agent in the market, and that listing um, on 4 Indian Trail, if somebody calls in or emails that, is going to their generic, um, their generic lead routing phone number. Uh, again, I'm going to scoot down and I'm going to show you the difference as we get through. Wow, they are really putting a lot of advertising in. I have not seen ads in between properties ever. Uh, now I'm going to go in here. And I am almost sure that this is okay. So we've got Fern. Now Fern is not a pro user, but she is taking advantage of the Realty Executives Trulia Premium listings. So not only, I mean, yes, our logo is coming in here, and that's exactly what we want. But not only does her name appear as the listing agent. That's her cell phone number. We don't have a toll-free lead generating system. If it's not going to the agent, it's because somebody misdirected it and it's going to corporate and the listing agent's going to get it anyway. So I'm going to go through and pick on a couple of realty executives listings just so that you can see um, exactly the different and function. Um, this, is th this agent actually went so far as to feature um, that particular listing and I'll show you a little bit more about how that would work. Um, but I am going to go in and look at one of the, um, now here we go, 99 Glenside Trail. We're going to pull that up. Now that's Tina Shaheen. Again, she is not, she's not pro. She's utilizing our system. And her, phone, her name comes up in here. And that is, she's originally from New York. That's what the 646 is. Uh, her cell phone number comes up. And if you click on this, and by all means, I always, always recommend that everyone go in and make sure that all of your listings, when we get into the profile, I'll go in a little bit more about making sure that your listings are there. Um, but test the system out. Obviously, you want to see that your name is there and your cell phone number. That would be obvious as soon as you clicked into the profile. Make sure that you're not signed in when you do this. Uh, make sure that you are on, like I did, I logged out. Make sure that you're on as the consumer because you want to see it the way the consumer sees it. Type in the information here and make sure that I can guarantee you the email is going to come to you because I set it up. Um, but I, the, again, going back to some of the other brokerages, um, if you're on, if they're using those toll-free or generic uh, lead capture systems, um, that information uh, on the email is also not going back to that listing agent. Um, it is going back to that lead system um, and then being um, sold, I guess, to the highest bidder. Uh, so now we're going to go into another realty executives listing. This is Gene. Uh, Gene has both phone numbers in his profile. So how cool is that? Um, it comes up with his 201, that's his cell phone number, um, and then it comes up with the Sparta office phone number as well. Um, so that uh, I guess he just must have ran them all together because I quite frankly have never seen that before. Um, but I'm going to keep moving down. Uh, we've got Keller Williams in here. Now this one, this is a Remax Platinum, and very faintly um, it says it over here. However, if you go into the 15 Summit Trail, you'll notice that no agent information comes up in here. I'll tell you what happens. If you click contact agent in this box, what will happen is that will go to a Trulia Pro who has purchased advertising and or lead generation in either the zip code 07871 or the town of Sparta. So that is what's going to happen in this box. So very faintly, it, it had that information. You can't click on it. I'm going to go back and show you that you can't click on it. So although it said, I told you I'm going to get a lot of uh, pop-ups in this website. Um, although it said platinum here, and I believe this is the same here with the Keller Williams because they're not participating, you can't click on anything. But if you click on 15 Summit, the address, is, which is where you're going to get more information, you're looking at generic. You're not seeing the listing agent. That listing agent isn't getting anything. By law, it has to be down here at the bottom somewhere. And at this point, you can get in. But 
I don't know any consumer that's going to go that far. I want to go back and look at Keller Williams because, quite frankly, um, until some agents recently moved over, we didn't have a lot in the Sparta market, so it wasn't a, a broker I was looking at. But again, uh, Keller Williams is not participating in the Trulia premium, and this particular listing agent is not a pro. So they're losing all of these leads with those, gen with those numbers that come up from Trulia. And I can get you stats. I have an entire presentation on just Trulia and Trulia stats. With the amount of people on Trulia and the Trulia app and the fact that we as, as agents, and I'll show you what my Facebook page looks like because I do embed um, um, some of the Trulia products, some of their uh, widgets as they call them, um, onto my Facebook page. And that lead generation does come back to me. So I, I, it's not, not, not going to be lost uh, because it's identified through my Trulia profile. Um, but the lead generation lost um, here uh, and people that also do this on Zillow, to me, is, is just unbelievable that they're not participating. But again, they also came in on, uh, on page, what page was I on? Five or six at this point. Um, they also came in on the lower pages, although they totally fit. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, um, 82 Summit Road for 269, well within the boundaries of what I was looking for, single-family home. Um, they came up towards the couple of last pages. This is a, these are, you'll see these agents here. That's all about Trillia Voices. We'll go a little bit into Trillia Voices as well. Um, but you'll go down, Exit Town and Country also doesn't participate. Um, I don't know any REMAX franchise, although I know that there are some REMAX agents um, that participate. Uh, but for the most part, the franchise itself does not. Now, interesting that this one, also Weikert, is not coming up with the Weikert logo and is not coming up with, um, wow, huh, and is not coming up with the agent information or their toll-free number. This one must have fell through the cracks or something um, because typically as a, uh, as a brokerage, and I thought she was, she's truly a pro, got to call Liz. Um, that's interesting. Um, she's not coming up as either uh, agent or company. Um, and she's losing that lead. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on in there because I'm going to tell you that uh, Liz Weinfeld is usually, she's one of the people I do talk about when we get into blogging because she is an agent, um, obviously right here. I mean, she's one of their, uh, one of their pro agents um, that, um, that usually contributes a lot to um, Trillia Voices uh, and blogging. So uh, that's, uh, that's quite interesting. Um, anyway, we're going to go back to the, uh, the search pages here. So that's the difference as far as where you land um, we don't have a lot in that price range, and I did. That was a very narrow price range. Um, obviously, a hundred thousand dollars here, um, but um, the difference between uh, working with um, our company and the way that we're branding and the way that we're pushing all of the information to the agents um, and some of the other brokerages locally um, that may not be doing the same. So we've got. Um, I just up the I up the ante as far as price range a little bit just to see if there were any more going on. Um, Prudential Gross and Jansen, that's another one, does not participate. Um, although it says featured here, this is featured through uh, Maria um, as a pro. It does not feature, so she actually has to pay, and quite a bit of money, I might add, um, to have her face come up on her listings, but the brokerage itself um, is, not a truly a, um, is not a truly a pro brokerage. Uh, but that last one, I have to say, kind of threw me off. Um, I want to see what this one looks like as far as uh, 72 Fox Ridge. It's her again. So as a pro, she's getting her stuff, um, but the company itself is not participating. Now you can see here um, how the um, how the pages we, we've really expanded as far as the um, as the search pages go. Um, and I'm really I have to tell you I'm beyond confused um, about what's going on here um, with these Weikert listings because um, I'm showing quite a few of them. And I'm hoping that's not Liz again because obviously she fell out of somewhere. Um, no, interesting. Um, anyway, not picking on any brokerages here. I just thought that was odd um, that some of them are and some of them aren't. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit more digging into that. And uh, we have a small group on the call, so I could say this to Veronica slash Dave. Uh, that's going to be really uh, quite interesting uh, as far as the recruiting goes um, if all of a sudden they're dropping out of that, uh, out of that game. Uh, but moving on with that, so that's what we're looking at as far as the consumer goes. That's where your leads are going to come from. You're getting, again, we always promise that the listing agent gets the leads. Um, and whether they went through here or they went through corporate, you would get it anyway. 
Um, but that being said, we do try to get it more direct uh, to you because if it's coming to you in real time, you've got no lag. Anyone that's on the uh, on the computer, and again, this would be a desktop or mobile uh, program, um, they're going to want that instant satisfaction. They're on the web. They want to know, and they want to know right now. Um, so to take that middleman out, that being corporate, mostly Bertie and Doug, um, that would shoot the listing over to you, the lead over to you anyway. Um, not only will this get the to, get this to you a lot quicker, um, but when we go into some of the agent um, lead uh, generation information, because it's coming directly to you, it's logging into your profile, um, therefore keeping you not up to date with uh, what's going on with that particular buyer or consumer, but getting you their cell phone number, getting you their email address, and um, hopefully from there, um, getting you to prospect with them. If you're getting email addresses uh, from Trulia as far as leads, you know, put them in a drip email campaign. If you're using our website, throw them in your e-newsletter. If you're using Executive Edge, get those people seeing your name, your face every time that they get any bit of news on real estate. Because if they're on Trulia now, chances are if you don't try to get them, heck, if they give you a cell phone number, send them your, send them your, just, just text them your link to your real send, uh, to your real search, um, and get them using your app on their mobile device. That would be, you know, that would be really cool because then you're taking them off Trulia. Now they're doing those same searches, but they're doing those searches where you're the only one getting those leads. So it doesn't matter whose pro, whose uh, listing they're going in. Leads coming to you anyway. So just some ways to uh, to utilize uh, the service uh, with some of the other uh, marketing tools and, and systems that we have um, to keep that lead in interacting with you. Um, without even knowing that they've actually uh, they've actually uh, leaned towards one realtor because that person will probably say no I'm not working with a real estate agent uh, but bottom line is if you've got them interacting with your tools um, then uh, th they're technically working with a real estate agent anyway so with that uh, with that said we're going to move on we're going to go into the sign-in and this is where we run into a lot of problems they've changed this um, a little bit there used to be a, a sign up and then they used to be a four professionals, um, and I was always telling everyone not to go to the four professionals tab because that's where they're going to try to sell you something. Um, and that is still the case. They are going to try to sell you something, um, but there is a free version as well. So where we're going to go, if you haven't been in there before, if you haven't been in, if you've come from another brokerage and you think you may in the past, one thing as a consumer, again, not being signed in, click on the find an agent, um, and then search your name. And you can get rid of the Sparta here. Just get rid of that and then type in your name. Make sure that you do not have multiple profiles. Uh, we found a lot of the times when uh, when agents were not getting uh, their listings syndicated to the profile that they were currently working with, um, it was because they had other profiles and it would just bounce back. So uh, make sure that your name is only here once. If you've got multiples, you are going to have to get in touch with Trulia. I've not found a way to just delete it myself. Get in touch with Trulia and please ask them um, to delete whichever specific profiles they are and then go into the one that is valid um, and make sure that you're updated with the information. So I'm going to go back to that uh, the beginning page, which is really just at this point, if we just did Trulia.com again on my webinars, I like to begin at the beginning. So we've got Trulia.com. We are now going to choose the four professionals. It is going to open a dialog box, I know, and try to sell me something. We're not going to click here. Uh, we're going to go to the sign up here. And it will open up this dialog box. Now, a couple of things. I, I've never used a sign in with Facebook on this. I have used it in other, uh, in other places. I don't like to attach things to Facebook because some of the programs are not smart enough to not post to your personal profile. That is a violation of terms of use. Uh, for anyone that was at the NARTEC event on Monday, um, I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing anyone or in any other social media for real estate type training. Um, the one thing, for some reason, a gentleman who was supposed to be a professional because they actually had him as a speaker at this event, um, sponsored by NAR, uh, was going on about how he built his real estate business. And he's talking about, you know, how he he takes pictures of his buyers and he puts them on his Facebook. Um, the problem is it's a violation. Anything that you do that's commercial um, for sale regarding business should be done on a Facebook business page, not your Facebook profile. 
So again, the reason that I'll do, I will not always sign in with Facebook is because it'll, it'll ask for all kinds of permission to your, your personal uh, profile, um, and then it's going to go ahead sometimes and automatically post, and uh, it, doesn't know, it doesn't know enough on its own to choose your page. Um, so I would normally go in and just recommend that you fill in all the paperwork. Uh, your location would be, um, either you can either do the city that you're or town um, that you specialize in, um, or your um, or the town that the office is in, which it'll default if you don't pick anything. Um, I did have to reprimand an agent today who has her broker's license um, and put that uh, she was a broker at Realty Executives. Please don't do that. Um, you're just going to go in here, and it looks like they actually took that out, which is very interesting. Um, but go in here, and you're going to just choose Real Estate Pro, and then you'll notice that uh, additional information pops up in here. A company name must be filled out. Please keep in mind when you're on these um, uh, profiles, these realtor profiles, social media, if you are marketing yourself as an agent, as a realtor, if you're marketing properties, you are still bound by the Real Estate Commission rules and regulations as far as advertising, as well as realtor if you are a realtor and anyone with exceptional realtors has to be. Um, if you are a realtor, you're bound by the code of ethics. So be mindful of that when you're getting on here and you're putting in um, phone numbers. I know that uh, we, we spoke about this at Executive Express um, as far as cell phone numbers and voicemails and email addresses and, you know, and what you can and can't say. Um, be really mindful of this information because, again, Real Estate Commission rules and regs, and I know think people think there are no spotters out there. I can tell you from recent experience with the Board of Realtors, they are out there, um, and they're checking people. Um, so if I see that anyone's in violation, you will get an email from me. And if I don't see it changed, I'm going to take it down. Um, so again, be really careful in here. You fill out the basic information. You hit Create Account. Today's purposes, I'm actually going to go in and log in. So I need to go to the back button because I actually do have my profile. So I am going to click on log in. Um, again, emails. I know a lot of people like their personal emails. Um, I don't know uh, what kind of companies you guys work for, uh, but some of the stories that I hear about stealing leads for the company and the company having my database and all this other nonsense, we don't want your stuff. Uh, in fact, nobody goes in and looks at anybody's emails. I'm the one that's maintaining emails. I can't even read my own half the time. I'm certainly not reading anyone else's. Um, but the bottom line is the way that truly it distinguishes, and again, we're going to get all this nonsense. Uh, I don't need tech support. Thank you. Um, the way that Trulia distinguishes our listings um, in order to give you that upper status, that Trulia, that Trulia premium listing status, is through the email address. So if your primary email address on Trulia is anything other than RealtyExecutives.com, don't call me complaining that your syndication isn't working because it's your own fault. That's the way it syndicates. Um, so again, RealtyExecutives.com is the one I'm going to use. I never remember my password because uh, I very rarely go in. Okay. I, I, I pop between two different passwords. Again, it's still trying to sell me something because I'm not truly a pro. Now you'll see here that my profile came in. When you go in and hit create for the very first time, it's going to walk you through a lot of the profile information. Um, so have a picture ready. Uh, maybe have a bio. What I recommend, I, I know a lot of people will stand, it's just sit in front of their computer and stare at it um, whenever a, a social media and or realtor site asks for um, a bio. I actually have a Word document, um, and I have it, you know, a very a, a couple of versions depending on how large. And I have a bio that I can just automatically copy and paste. If you've got something that you like or you want to utilize, copy it, put it on a Word document. Anytime you tweak something, you say, "Hey, that sounds better." You get another designation, certification, whatever it is. You know, you get your broker's license, and you want to change it. Go into Word and change it. And then go through all of your social media or all of your agent or realtor profiles and change it all at one time. And it's just a simple copy-paste. Um, so just a, a shortcut or a best practice there. Uh, but again, when you click that button, it'll walk you through all of the steps. And then you'll have a profile that kind of looks like this. And you'll see here I've got my photo. I'm going to go into the profile. The profile here is, is uh, I find a little odd. Um, and then I'm going to click on my edit my profile. So this is what you guys are going to be looking at. Um, and I know this is very faint. Again, I'm not sure why. Um, but if you're in, on your computer and you're not wearing your glasses, trust me when I tell you um, that there are plus signs 
at the end of each one of these um, titles. Now, up here there's a view profile, and I know that that's kind of dark, so you can see that. And what that'll do is that'll show you what your profile looks like, again, to the public. So this is what the public is going to be looking at whenever they pull your profile. You'll see here that I don't have Yelp right now, although I am told that that is something that I need to do. Um, but um, And this is, I do have Foursquare, so I don't know why that's not here. Um, but anyway, you'll see that I do have my social media. You want that as colorful as property. The less grayed out, the better. Uh, the one thing that I don't have, although I do have um, testimonials on the testimonial page, I don't have recommendations. Um, so I do have a client that has been thanking me uh, profusely over the last month, uh, and I am going to send an email to him. I know he uses email and ask for a recommendation, and that'll get my points. So you'll see here my 80% improve your profile. It's going to tell me that I need recommendations, and that. Um, so that being said, we're going to just hit the back button, and we're going to go back to the edit profile, um, and you'll see here the email addresses and the Facebook connect. You do want to, at this point, connect to Facebook. Um, and when we go in a little bit later about promoting your listings through Trulia, you'll see why. Uh, but you do want to, at this point, connect through Facebook. Um, I've got my, here's my profile pic, and that's the one that it uses on, uh, on Trulia, um, and that's the one that it uses here. If you do want a secondary email, by all means, you can add it here. You'll see that I do have a secondary. That's my old realty, uh, realty, real estate consultant email. Uh, and it is still live for me. Um, so I do have a secondary here. You can do secondary email addresses, uh, but you'll make sure that your primary is always your realtyexecutives.com. And then we have the opportunity to change our password. Don't need to go into that. It's self-explanatory. Um, they've, they've recently updated this. For anybody that hasn't been in there in a while, uh, there's a lot more question and answers instead of just free boxes. Um, and I guess here is a way to mess yourself up. Um, and put yourself in as a broker. Um, I'm a broker, and I'm not the broker manager or the broker of record. In fact, you only could be the broker of record to put broker in here. So um, unless you are Kyle, please do not fill anything in other than agent. Um, the company should be, I'm, I do work for Realty Executives New Jersey and Realty Executives um, Exceptional Realtors. Um, and because I do have this as my marketing site, not so much as an agent, um, I do have just Realty Executives New Jersey. For the rest of you, Realty Executives Exceptional Realtors is the way to go. The license number is not required in the state of New Jersey. It is required in other states, which is why it's an option. If you want to put it in there, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, I just opted not to. Um, location is the town that my office is listed in. I'm going to click on the Manage Lead Preferences right here. Um, and you'll see right this way, uh, set up three locations as your primary service areas for your Trulia profile. Um, this is actually a new feature. What I did was on some of the new features, I tested them earlier today just to make sure that, the, that I had a handle on the flow, um, but I left it open to actually do live, um, including some of the sold listings, uh, while we were on the call so that you can see how this stuff works live. Um, so here's my primary location is Sparta. That's where the office is. If I wanted anything in Andover or Branchville, I can actually uh, click that. If I want to enable any of these locations, you know, I can go ahead and click these. Um, if you want to add, you can add them from here, but you're only allowed to choose three overall. So this is some of the stuff I had in here. If I wanted to go ahead and change this, and I want to add Byram as one of my uh, as one of my towns, as Byram Township, New Jersey, uh, because I haven't, I've only got one primary, and I want to choose Byram. I think Byram is number three, so I would put the click mark there. I would put the checkbox there. Um, and then I would move down, and uh, we've got all of this information here, and we're going to go back to profile. So this way, I, I guess if there's any lead generation in that town, um, you know that'll uh, that'll opt to or set me up for leads in that particular market. You're always, um, I, again, this is just going to pop up. Trulia has been like the king of pop-ups recently with all of their new stuff. Um, we're back in our profile. We're back in our edit profile. Again, I constantly go back, even if it looks like I'm in the right place, so that you guys can see how I got to where I'm going. Um, so that's my personal information. Uh, we've got the uh, headline, title, however you want to put it. Um, if you're a team, if you're a, if you're a part of a team, this would be a great place to put that, um, that team information or that team name um, so that it does identify you um, as, a, um, as a team. 
Um, and then we'll go through a little bit here. Uh, fill this in, first and last name, if it's available. If you're not a Tom Smith, uh, you know, it should work perfectly fine. Uh, but create a Trulia profile um, address because that's what you're going to link on um, to any of the social media sites that will allow for Trulia or miscellaneous. That is what you're going to put on there. Uh, web titles, I've got my website, that's my personal website leading to, and then this is where all my social media kicked in. I am a Foursquare, I don't know why I didn't put that in there, I'll put it in when I can go and click it. Um, and then you're going to want to click on save to save anything that you've updated in that entire module. And it brings you back here. You've got work history, you've got experience and skills, this is where I said that this is fairly new, um, where they're doing check boxes and they're limiting to a certain amount. Uh, the work history itself is a uh, is a, a very small uh, bio, and you'll notice that it's starting to look a lot like Facebook as you go through. Um, it starts to look quite like the About Me section in Facebook, the way that it opens. Uh, and then here's About Me, and this is more of a um, resume of sorts. Um, and then you have the opportunity here to type in some, you know, some keywords. It says interest, my family. Um, I can go in here and type in anything I want to. Um, so if I wanted to do short sales, that would actually become a keyword in my bio. Um, new construction, rehabs, investors, you know, you're going to keyword it up till as long as it, do it till it can't take anymore. Um, you know, that would be, uh, that would be what I would recommend because the more keywords, the better off you are. Um, and then the ad recommendations, at this point, um, this would be, I, I can actually go in here or written by, they can type it in or I can request verification. Um, there is also a place in here where you can re just email them directly um, as, far as, a, uh, as far as that goes. So we're going to go back to the profile page here. We're going to go back to the edit profile and we're going to slide down the sides. And now we've got the My Lead section. So as I was saying earlier, the reason that you would rather that the client or the lead come directly to you is because that lead is then logged in here. And although it says that I don't have any, Maureen, you're raising, your, are you raising your hand, Maureen? Maureen, yeah. are, you, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, I had your hand raised and I wasn't sure if I was not showing up on your screen anymore or if you had something going I on. Lost, I lost the voice. Oh, but you can hear me now? Yes. Okay, awesome. Going back on and taking your hand down so it's there for later. Okay. Um, and I, I moved over there just because I don't know why I decided to take a look. Uh, but going in here, and this is why you want those leads coming directly to you. And again, I was saying um, it looks like I don't have any leads, uh, but I do in fact uh, not only have leads, but you'll see that I do get um, some of the uh, phone numbers here. Of course, Pam Allheit was testing leads. Um, but in any case, we were doing some testing. Um, wherever you get an email, if you have an email option, throw them in. Um, whenever you get a uh, cell phone number, throw them in your mobile um, and get these people engaged or even even better yet, again, like some of these people, I may text them and say, you know, check out my whatever it is and, um, and include your link to your uh, real search app. Get them to download that app um, and you'll know the minute they hit it, if, you're, if your mobile is set up properly, you'll know the minute that they hit it uh, because uh, it, you'll get a text immediately. Uh, so I do have my leads, I do move them over, I do handle them, um, but, uh, but they're in there. Um, then the My Listings, we're going to just scoot down the profile page here. Most of the people on the call are, are um, uh, seasoned agents and, and pretty proficient in this, so I don't think I have to micromanage. Um, my Listings in here, and this is the one I told you, this is fairly new. Uh, this is an active listing. Um, although I was kind of hoping to be out of attorney review today and haven't seen anything. Uh, but you'll see here we've got a share option, and this is what I was talking about earlier about promoting. Um, I would never emphasize this in the past because Trulia, not keeping up with the times, when you clicked on the share to Facebook, would automatically share it to your personal profile. They have gotten on board, and let's hope they don't make a liar out of me, and now when you click on that, it will populate this particular page, this is my property, not exactly sure why they decided to use that as the front photo, uh, but I'm going to stick with the original. Now you have a drop down menu from here, and what you would do is click on a page you manage, and my crazy ghost people always come up first, um, and then I would pick on my, and this Sussex County Homes, these are obvious uh, self-explanatory, I manage everybody else's, um, but Sussex County Homes is my actual real estate page, my business page, 
And at that point, I would go ahead and click on share the link. So they have accommodated it. Um, if you're, and I know that we have someone on the call that may be managing more than one page, sucker. Uh, but that would be the page, that would be the place if, if one of your agents turns around, if you're a manager and said, you know, I want to go ahead and do this and you're signing into their Trulia and you're sharing it, um, you'd be able to use that drop down menu to whatever pages that you were working with. Um, the other thing with the listings is the send client listing report. This is a, a drip to the client. You can do it one time. You can copy yourself. You can set it up for increments uh, where the client is receiving their truly a hit counts. And I'm actually going to do it live. Um, hopefully it's available on my, uh, on my rental. Um, so you would put the recipient's name, uh, email, um, and then this one here says email weekly. If you take that checkbox off, it's going to do a one time. Um, but otherwise, if you left it on, it would be weekly. Uh, there is a default in here below is the traffic summary, blah, blah, blah. If you wanted to make it warmer, depending on your relationship with the seller, by all means, um, you could. Um, you could choose to copy me. I personally get enough emails, uh, so I wouldn't want that. Uh, but you can click on a uh, show preview so that you can see exactly what your, and how cool is that? It does a recommend your agent, uh, which I thought was really awesome, so that if they do click on that recommend button, it will go on your profile. So that's a great way to get recommendations, by the way, hint, hint, without actually asking for one independently. If you're sending them to your, uh, your cl uh, current clients, <laughs> unless they're bad, then maybe you don't want to. Uh, but anyway, so uh, we've got uh, the recommend your agent. You've got your uh, basic stats. Um, then they can also, as the seller, click on the view the listing on Trulia, also a great button. Um, and it gives them just a little bit about uh, we'll let them feel do additional resources. So they can actually pull up comparable properties um, and see the lights that you're not lying. Um, but really cool on that how they're going to get that information. So it showed the preview. You've got all the information. You choose send. Again, if this button is here, it will go to them weekly. If it is unchecked, it will go to them just one time. You'll have to remember to do it as often as you want to. Um, so I thought that was really pretty cool. Um, edit listings you can actually do. You can edit listing details. You can add photos. Um, you can add open houses and delete listing. Don't know why you would want to delete the listing. It does disappear um, when it expires, but wacky stuff has been known to happen. It is syndication, and we are depending on several, not just two, several computers and databases and servers all talking to each other and getting it right. Um, so let's go into the... Um, edit listing detail. If you have a pocket listing, there is a way to add that listing on there as well um, to, uh, to advertise to the consumer. Um, so one thing it will not let us change is status um, and listing address. And again, I don't know why you would want to. Uh, but if for any reason there is a price change, you can click on the uh, price in, oh, that's odd. Is it not letting me do that one? Yeah, it's only allowing in here. The price in details is bubbled. Oh, I guess I could just go right in there and make that change. I didn't think that I could. Um, it looks like it's only allowing changes for the, um, the property type. So price in detail is in red because it's, it allows changes, but it's limited. This is something very new. I don't remember ever being able to change this. I thought all three of these had lines. And the listing address and status change is grayed out with a line, so you can't change anything on there. Um, and then this stuff, you can actually go in, rearrange, add, delete. Um, if you want to post an open house, this is not one of the profiles that our corporate office is going to be posting to. Um, they will post to Realtor.com on your behalf. They will post to our company website on your behalf. Um, and they will post to GSMLS on your behalf. But they will not post to all your individual profiles. That is on you. Um, and truly is one of the ones I would take the time to actually do. Not so much to broker open house. This is mostly for the public. Um, so if you've got a pre uh, an advanced schedule, you can you know go ahead and do that, um, and then click on save. And then if you go in here to other, um, I'm not exactly sure incorrect map. So if that's or incorrect broker, uh, agent broker, this is great. Or pro property is sold. This is a way to get to truly if a property was sold and it's still showing on there um, or withdrawn. Um, this would be the place. What this will do is just generate using your email address. Um, it'll generate an email to the uh, Trulia support uh, and get that information changed. So if you chose just say incorrect agent broker, um, and then you have the option here of removing the listing until the issue is resolved, which I normally check. Um, I, I do put that checkbox in there because otherwise it's going to be on there with the incorrect information, and then send them a little note and then choose send. 
Um, so that's it as far as editing the listing there. I'm going to hit the back button and get back to my listings. Um, I do have a for rent, and I am going to look at this one because she wasn't loving. I'm going to see what that allows me to do uh, as far as edit listing detail here, if it allows the same thing. Um, here it's actually allowing me to change the listing address, which is kind of odd. Um, here is the one that's really cool. Because of the way syndication, and I went in and I changed my preferred, because of the way syndication works specifically with rentals and commercial, sometimes a townhome or a single family um, will come up as multi-floor because if you haven't noticed on a lot of the rental properties, it's mandatory with certain, um, with certain uh, property types or uh, primary property types that you include how many stories or how many floors, multi-floor, single floor. Um, I don't know who at GSMLS thought that was a great idea. Uh, but anyway, depending on which one you click first, if you're like my I am and I go through the alphabetical, um, I ended up clicking the M, which is multi-floor multi unit, um, before the T, which made it my primary style, which syndicated as an apartment um, on some of the sites. And of course, my client was not happy because it's nowhere near an apartment. This thing is bigger than my house. Um, so this would be the place if that was happening where you can go in and change it. Um, and then you've got some of the utilities, the pets, uh, et cetera. Interesting to see how that came over because my pet is, okay, other oh, pets will be considered on case by case. This took the verbiage right out of GSMLS. I did not put this in manually. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, same thing here. If you're having an open house on a rental, not me, um, but you can put that in here and, uh, and other if there is any kind of error. Um, it's the same situation where you would put in that information. Um, going back here, um, you've got your share option here also on Facebook. Um, and that will operate exactly the same if you want to share on Twitter. If you're a Twitter person, that's awesome. Sold. And this is the one I told you I was saving until everyone got here. This is really, really new. In fact, it still says new with an exclamation point where you can, uh, you can add active and sold listings to your profile. The add listings, again, uh, if it's not something that automatically syndicates, you've got a pocket listing, um, you know, your exclusive listing information. Um, you can absolutely click on the ad listing and do it manually. It's just fill in fields um, that you have to uh, put in. But the ad sold listings, this is the one that I am in love with, and I'm going to show you live how to do that. Um, so I recently, back in July, closed on a property at 168 Mountain. This is really my listing, and it really did sell. Um, so I'm going to click on typing in the property information. I'm sure I could have put the MLS. but it, And you'll see here that when you click on that, this, this will default to the find sold listings. So that, uh, that has to be in that radio button. That has to be highlighted there. Uh, road, it's in Hardiston, but they like Hamburg because it's the Hamburg zip code. I also told you that's the reason I didn't like to do that. I'm going to click on search. I know it's here because it was here before. So now we've got this property. I know this is mine. I'm going to choose select. And I was the agent on the 724 sale at 323 and click on next. And I was the seller's agent, although again, depending on who you're talking to, that's all different. Um, I am the seller's agent here. Uh, get verified. Want to see the verified badge on your listing? I could put the buyer's agent uh, if I remembered how to spell his name. Um, and it was a really long name. Client's name, I would like to request a recommendation. Um, I guess I could. That's the same guy as before, and I don't have his email on me right now, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to add a comment, and I'm not going to add any photos because all my photos are in here. So I'm going to choose the add to my listings. Hopefully, uh, I didn't have to fill out everything. Do I have to fill out the get verified, or did I forget to? It looks like the you must certify that this is your listing. I thought I did that. I would like to. Oh, no, that checkbox is there. Okay, guys, I'm old, and I'm obviously missing a button. And it's probably, oh, here it is. Pardon me. Uh, I certify that I am the agent who sold the property on the date specified. I certify that I have the rights to uh, display yes to both because I am the person who took those photos. So um, this, uh, obviously, um, it can be used as, as a buyer representative. And that is legal, regardless of what anyone tells you. If you're a buyer agent on a property, you can add them here. Um, and that, to me, is, an, is awesome because if you are a buyer, I mean, your profile is all about the listings. And if you lean more towards the buy side than you do the list side, although I have no idea why anybody would want to, I'm more of a listing agent, um, this would be a great place to say, yes, I am active in the business, and yes, I have had this kind of production, 
It just doesn't necessarily mean it was on the listing side. So I'm going to uh, choose Add to My Listings. And again, I'm doing this live with you. Um, so this is the first time I've actually added a soul. And I'm adding what client email do I oh, Because this box is checked. It's asking for an email address. And I could go back and get his email, but I really am not in the mood to do that. So let's try that again. There we go. Success. Uh, so now if I go back to my listing information, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I've got, hopefully, it worked, and in the sold box, I've got my sold. Now I can go in at this point um, and add photos because I actually do have the photo of that property. Um, and I did choose that I was allowed to use the photo, so I'm not exactly sure why that didn't come in. Um, but I'm going to go in and just go to my house photos and get my 168 Mountain and hope that this is the version that I like, although it doesn't matter at this point because I'm not selling it. And scooting down to the 160, whoop, I'm at the one, yeah, it's 168 now. And now I've got a front photo. I'm not selling the property, so it's not, I don't necessarily need to sit here and add all the interior photos. Uh, I certify that I have the right to use the image because I just downloaded it, you knucklehead. And I'm clicking on save. And it's spinning. So again, that was, um, that was one of the uh, one of the cool things that uh, that recently came up um, was the sold listing. So that you know that's really nice. Seller's agent is me. Buyer's agent is not yet uh, verified. Uh, it was Lenny DeFilippo at Sussex County, and just because I can't spell his last name, nor do I have his email off the top of my head, uh, I'm not putting that on there. But uh, I'll, I'll give him the graciousness of coming back in later and uh, and updating that uh, because it does look like I can uh, I could potentially uh, update the information. So um, I'm going to go back in and that we went through the uh, my listings. Uh, we went through reporting and reporting is simply uh, this report itself um, comes to me um, and this is uh, right now the uh, 64 load. It's my only act a low road. It's my only active um, and again hoping to come out of attorney review. It's my only active listing um, at the time and it does really default to the sales, uh, not so much the rentals. Um, but if I wanted to create a report on that rental, I most certainly could. Open house calendar would incorporate all of the open houses that you may or may not have scheduled. Um, lead preferences. Um, and again, we went in here before and I chose primaries. Um, I don't even know if I see, I ended up saving that one. I did not save. Did I save that one? Look, I just have my primary. I didn't save the whole buy room thing. Uh, but it was just to go in and show you where to go through it. Um, my contacts, I don't upload contacts in here, so it was ever, anybody that was ever uh, attached to me, um, and these happen to be two listings that I had. Get recommendations, as I had said before. Um, these are my testimonials, um, which are on here, and request verification. This is actually my 19 Black Bear listing. I had their house. Um, I had sold their house prior to them buying 19 Black Bear. They bought Black Bear directly through the uh, builder, um, and then they've been reload and we're, uh, we're renting it. So uh, I could actually send him um, an email on that. Local ads, this is where they're trying to sell you stuff. Um, again, if you're going to invest any money into this kind of thing, um, I wouldn't go Trulia Pro because I don't think that you get enough benefit out of Trulia Pro. Trulia Pro, you show up at the bottom and I'll go into my listing. Oh, mama me with this stuff. Um, I'll go into my uh, one of the, the listings and show you where they come. You come up at the bottom. Um, so really, a, a consumer would have to go shoot, you know, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page um, to see a pro. The people that do get some leads from Truly, and I'm not going to lie, it does generate the leads, um, and I believe more more so than Zillow does, um, are the people that buy the zip code, so that you are coming up, you are receiving those leads on those non, and you saw how many uh, listings just in Sparta alone had no listing agent in the upper right hand box that went to a generic agent. Um, so uh, interesting um, that that would, you know, that that generates more, um, whether you put an ad up there, and there's some paid for ads up there, whether you put an ad or you just, uh, you buy a zip code um, and you're just buying the leads for that zip code. I think if you're going to invest money, um, I don't, never, never felt the need to have, uh, that I had to, uh, but if you are going to do that, um, that would be where I would make my investment, not so much um, on buying the all-over package of Trulia Pro. So we're going to click on, there's a little thing here called more. Again, they're trying to, so mobile ad, same thing, trying to sell me. Um, upgrading to Pro, trying to sell me. Uh, Trulia Insight, 
Uh, it's an, another uh, another app, and again, we're looking at the. It's including when you buy Truly Your Pro, or you can purchase it independently. Trying to sell you something. Uh, they spend a lot of time on here, unfortunately, trying to sell you something that I don't think it's necessary. Um, anybody listening? I, I don't know if anyone was there on Monday. I know the Sussex County Association of Realtors um, had a uh, had an advertising rules class. I would have loved to have been there, but I had another commitment. Um, I was um, at NAR Tech Edge. Um, but this came up, I believe that somebody told me that Trulia Voices came up. Um, and when I train um, social media or I train individual profiles, um, I do normally review this. I'm not exactly sure why my profile came up again. I obviously hit something wrong. Um, but I was looking for my um, Voices activity. Okay, here we go. Um, and here's my Voices activity. Now, positive note for me, I got involved with Trulia years and years and years ago where they allowed you to add every town you ever wanted to get information with, and I'll go in and show you what that looks like, um, any town that you ever wanted uh, in uh, Voices. So if anybody posts anything in Ogdensburg or Branchville or Hampton, um, I, will get a, I will get an email and I will have the opportunity to, um, to answer that email. Now, that being said, on the new Trulia, when anybody goes in and gets a profile now, so don't delete it unless you absolutely have to, um, I was grandfathered in. So they didn't take anything away from me, but now you only get two or three. My recommendation on anyone that has not done a Trulia profile, if you're going on now as a new person, do the county. Because what will happen is when somebody hits Branchville, they also have, and this is the consumer, when I say somebody, and more often than not, you will get some sellers, but on, on Trulia, you will get more, more buyers. They will click, they have to click the county. So when, when somebody hits and they've got a question in Hampton, and I actually got one today about a Lake of Pacron property, um, when somebody clicks on that, when somebody hit, I will get two emails. Because if, you, if you, I scoot down, you'll notice that I, smartly enough, um, also went in and did Sussex. And I did it at, it came in as a county. So what happens is because I did Sussex, and I can't add any more because it's not allowing me to because I'm maxed out to their new standards. They used to let you go up. I thought it was 25. Um, whenever anybody clicks on Sussex, because it says Sussex, I will get an email twice. So I will get an email for Hampton, and I will get an email for Sussex County. So if you, you're only getting three, do counties. Um, if you're in the Byram office, you know, hit Warren, hit Sussex, hit Mars. Um, same thing if you're in the Sparta office. I would hit all those. If you're in the Vernon office, you know, I may go and I may do Passaic in lieu of Warren because you're going to want hits on that side of New Jersey uh, rather than driving all the way to Warren County. Um, you know, if you're in the West Milford, you, you get the idea of, you know, clicking in the counties that are nearer to you um, because you're limited on the voices and uh, you will get the email anyway. So it doesn't matter what town they put in. As long as you've got that county, um, you're going to get it anyway. So I, I found I did it for no other reason than I did. And it turned out to work out, you know, work in my best interest because I will get every town um, in the county regardless. It just says new uh, New questions have been posted in Sussex County. Um, the Trulia Voices alerts were exactly that. I mean, this is exactly what I have. Um, you do them as it happens. Again, I usually go in and show what a new one looks like, uh, but because I'm maxed out here and the voices, um, I can't do that. As we get, uh, you'll see these are blogs, um, and the blogs, I think it will still, uh, it should still let you um, add unlimited blogs um, if you click on blog, but um, this, I believe, is actually mine. Um, manage my comments, write a new, edit, share, forward, all that other stuff. If you're into blogging, notifications, I do want everyone, I want everyone on the call to get into um, the notification settings. Um, and I'm going to go in after this and I'm going to show you how to do some claiming listings and why you may or may not have to. Um, so email alerts, save searches. I don't know why they do this if you're a pro. They kind of combine um, some of the pro information with some of the consumer information. Um, I obviously don't have any save searches. Uh, if you're following a property, you know, you may want to go in there and do that. Homes you're following is right here. Um, alerts about your favorite topic. I'm following 18. It's just going to bring me right back to that 18 again. Uh, alerts about new listings. Um, so if you wanted to see anything new um, that came up, uh, truly a weekender, not sure why they did that. Where you want to really focus is the email communication. So 
Um, here you'll have Rental Pro new products and, and features. Um, I don't necessarily need that because I don't typically care. Um, rental listing report. This is on my rental, so I get a weekly report on my rental listings. Now keep in mind that's collectively not independent on the, on the property. So I will get an overall summary of all of my rentals or an overall summary of all of my my, whiskey, my uh, weekly listing. I put that all together and I sounded like Elma Fudd, my listing. Um, weekly listing snapshot. Uh, that is, I get that weekly, and again, it's all of my listings all at one time. If you want, again, if you have nothing better to do with your email, if you want, you can set up that week that uh, weekly listing report on in, on each property and have it email you if it's something that you want, um, and then you can forward it to the seller if you want to be able to make comments on it. That's an option by all means. Uh, but if you have this checked, you will get a collective. Um, you will get a collective email on your listings altogether and your rentals altogether. Obviously, there'd be no reason to do anything as far as sold. Uh, notifications for buyers, sellers, and owners. Uh, you'll have here survey research, buyer, seller newsletter. Again, those are for the buyers and sellers and owners. And like I said, they seem to um, put everything all in one box uh, here. But the email communication is specific to you, and I just did that updating. Um, so that's my notification. Um, again, searches, I don't have any. This is really more for a consumer. Um, unless you found um, something in your business that this may benefit, um, if, you have a, if you're in a market maybe where there's a lot of pocket listings, and I'm sorry, I needed some water, uh, where there's a lot of po pocket listings um, and they advertise on, uh, on Trulia, um, you, know, you can go ahead and, and make an alert for yourself so that you will get um, an email. Same thing here with recent searches, listing alerts. This is mostly for consumer, not so much um, for an agent. Um, I use my GSMLS for this purpose, but you can, I'm not, homes I'm following, again, um, you know, you could, uh, if you've got a, a property that's about to expire, I didn't say that out loud, uh, from another broker and, uh, and you want to follow that and see what's going on with it on, uh, on uh, Trulia, you can do that here. Um, claimed homes, I am going to show you how to go ahead. Um, send me alerts when my favorite properties or property status changes. I don't have any claimed homes um, on here, um, but we're going to go in and show you how to do. And then areas I'm following. So if there was a, a particular area um, that you want to follow information in, you can do that there. Um, so that's it as far as that uh, the sidebar goes. Um, I am going to go in um, and talk a little bit about um, claiming listings. Now, again, as we said, if you do the profile properly, all of your listings through Realty Executives should automatically syndicate right to your individual agent profile. For those of you who um, have a shared listing, if you're co-listing with someone, if you're a team, um, it only goes directly to the LA-1. Um, there is a way to claim that listing for the LA-2. Now, I did some work on Trulia. Um, and it looks to me like if you claim the listing, it actually pulls it. Um, and the, the listing agent, first of all, the listing agent has to give you permission. So it's not like you can go around pulling listings away from people. Um, but if they do, and we were testing this with a team, um, they then don't become the listing agent at all. So it's not listing twice. Now, there was a way, and I know that Vernon was using it, and I'm going to go in and play with that when we're finished, um, to claim it as a, as a team. There was a... Uh, um, add me to the listing rather than claim the listing option um, on some of those. So we're going to go in just really quickly and I'm going to pull my listing here just because it's easier to work with what I know. Um, and I just typically do this because this is one of those shared zip codes that it makes me insane. Um, so if you put the zip code in, it's, it's fairly safe. So if this listing did not syndicate, and again, there are many reasons. Um, Truly is very specific with uh, property types. So if GSML and, and, and they are nationwide, so they do their best to accommodate um, having every possible property type from every possible MLS, and it doesn't always work out. Um, for a while, they weren't liking Cape Cods. It looks like that's changed. So anything that, that syndicated to Trulia that had Cape Cod as a primary listing didn't go on. It would go on Trulia, but because it had a quote-unquote glitch, it didn't necessarily sync to the listing agent. Uh, commercial will not automatically sync. Um, rentals, mine did not automatically sync. I had to claim that. Um, so rentals, and again, it has more to do with 
some of the basic elements of, of, of uh, criteria, whether it's the multi-level, whether it's the, you know, the way the list price shows, whatever it is, monitor your Trulia, monitor your Zillow, go on once a week or a couple of days. Typically, List Hub, which is how we syndicate our listing, pushes out information twice a day. So every 24 hours, let's just say every 12 hours, uh, List Hub takes the information that we feed it via GSMLS, via, and, and right now it's the only one we're feeding it through, NJ does it itself, via GSMLS, and every 12 hours it gets pushed out to all 65 channels, therefore all 2,000 uh, syndication pro uh, possible options. And don't get crazy, your listing is not going to be on all 2,000 sites because all 2,000 sites have their own criteria. It's up to them whether they display them. If they're a full rental site, they're not going to be displaying my 64 low road because it's not a rental, it's purchase. Um, but that's pretty much the trickle down. Trulia itself only pulls in the information once every 24 hours. So if you put a new listing in GSMLS, give it 24 to 48 hours, get on that Trulia.com as the consumer, search that property, make sure it has your information. Obviously, I just searched my information and it's got my name and it's got my cell phone number on here. Now, if it does not, how are you going to claim that listing? Well, right here, and I don't know if it will allow me to uh, because it's already claimed by someone, um, it's, it's not allowing me to claim this listing. But I'm going to go in and go back to, I don't know why my screen just all of a sudden got huge. Uh, I'm going to move up here and I'm going to do listings. And I'm going to click on listings here. And what you will see is up here we've got our summary. We've got ad listing. Um, something missing. Let's just click on the ad listing button here. And if I type in, see this is coming in. Uh, I'm going to pick on Don Prout because he has a property. And I wish I would remember the, I remember the street name, although I don't know if this is still showing. Let me see about pulling somebody else's property in here because I think mine is attached to, that's nah, not letting me do it. Um, hmm. I'm just going to pull in 07461. I believe that we've got Ken with many, many properties in here. Fine. And that's the only one it's got? I don't even know who that is. 07461. Let me try one. And I am doing four sales. One inch, New Jersey. And let's see what we get. No search is matched. Um, I'm trying to come up with a property. If anybody on here doesn't have, has a property, and I think it's doing it, um, because, and I know Kathy, you're, uh, you're on Trulia, so it's syndicating. Um, and I know Maureen, you are too. Um, I'm going to let you see the, again, my, my ugly page. And I am going to really quickly just go here and see if he, I thought maybe it was 34 Ryan Road. Let me try 34 Ryan Road. I think that was his address. And I know he doesn't participate in Trulia. So, Woohoo. Okay. Um, so what would happen here is because I pulled that up, and this is not claimed by anyone. It does have the listing information, but it's not claimed by anyone. Um, I can choose that property and certify that I am the listing agent. I'm obviously not going to move forward with it uh, and add to my listings right here. But now, let's just say I don't want to do that. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull this property. And even though it has him as the listing agent, there used to be a time, and you see he does come up in here. Um, and he does have some wacky 827 number, which is kind of scaring me. Um, I'm going to have to find out what that is. Um, in here, you used to be able to claim this as a partner. And I want to see if there is still a way. Co-listing agents. Oh, there it is. Okay. So co-listing agents, if you're LA number two, this is where you would actually go in and be able to track listings and stats. So let's just say I wanted to go ahead and do this. I would click on that. I would claim this listing right here as a co-listing. And what happens is it will send Don Prout information. If I were to claim that listing, it would go to Don, Prout, uh, Don Prout's email, and it would say, another agent is trying to claim your listings, blah, 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 blah. And that's actually what happens if a listing goes uh, AWOL. Um, the listing, that claim listing request will come to me or Bertie, and we go ahead and we accept the claim. We, quote, unquote, allow for you to claim the listing. Um, in this particular case, it would go back to Don Prout. If he clicked on accept, he would be completely wiped out as the listing agent. 
and I would then become the listing agent. In this particular case, it's allowing for a co-listing agent, and at this point, all it's going to do is ask that he verify that you're legitimate. So if he clicks yes on that, he still stays as primary listing agent. You go in as co-listing agent, and you're doing here by claiming, and then you would click on claim this listing. I knew it was there somewhere. It was making me crazy that I couldn't find it the other day. Um, so for anyone that's on a team, this is the way to get that on here. Because as, as agents within the company, you're, enti you're entitled to a profile apiece. Um, so make sure that those listings are being advertised as often as possible. Uh, so that's where you would go ahead and claim a listing if for any reason it did not automatically syndicate. Um, and then also uh, for anyone that is, uh, is a, a team um, or does a co-listing, uh, the LA2, because it will sync automatically to the LA1s, the listing agent one um, profile, as the LA2, you can click on the co-listing uh, information here um, and, uh, and add that and follow the tracks and the stats and all that other fun stuff. So uh, with that being said, just to wrap it up really quick, um, and we are at an hour because we started a little bit late waiting for everybody to get on, um, how to use this for uh, sellers? Uh, well, we obviously have, when you're, when you're presenting our, and it is in our toolkit, there are plenty of profiles uh, for all of the Zillow if you're using it, um, and it doesn't matter whether you're using it on a, uh, if you're printing out the presentation, we've got Trulia stuff, if you're doing it on a laptop or a tablet, um, all of the presentation types include a Trulia page. Best way to explain that if you're on a uh, listing presentation um, is that you've got your uh, premium listing, so the status is high up there. Lead is coming directly to that seller's representative, which is you. Uh, you've got open house postings, so their listing has uh, the opportunity to, be, to have the open house posted to additional consumers. This is above and beyond the Realtor.com. They're getting that Realtor.com. They're, you know, they're getting your website. They're getting the company website. You now have an opportunity to post that on uh, Trulia. Uh, you can share that and tell them you're going to promote it on your uh, Facebook business page. Um, you can send the, the listing reports and stats and updates um, to the client directly once a week. Now, how do you generate buyer leads out of it? Well, like I said before, if a buyer or a potential buyer hits and puts their cell phone number on and you're getting it as a lead, utilize that in your mobile. If you're getting an email, utilize that in your executive edge and drip email campaigns. Um, you've got voices. Just keep in mind that you're still bound by guidelines, rules, and regs on the voices. Best practice on voices, if you're answering a question, you answer it keeping the rules and regs in mind and add a link back to your personal website because you do have to identify yourself as an agent because you are supposed to have the broker contact information and your brokerage information. Best way to do that on a small blog is a link back. Um, so always include your personal website link. And for one of you on the line, that would mean getting a domain name. If you haven't gone out there and do, done it, do it. You're going to hear about it on Monday. Uh, and blogging. Again, if you're into the whole blogging thing, I know I've got to get myself up on blogging. I say I'm going to do it. It's not really hard. I'm just trying to squeeze it in there and come up with a regular schedule where I'm blogging, and I'd be blogging on behalf of the region, not personally. Um, uh, but voices, blogs, um, again, any leads that come in, utilize the other marketing tools that we have to keep them engaged. Text them your mobile search app. Um, and that's all I got for you right now. So I'm going to open it up for uh, questions. Um, you can either type in that little question box down at the bottom. Uh, and I've got in here that, I'm sorry, Maureen. Um, usually I give everybody my cell phone number, and if you texted me, I'm fired. Um, I, I tend to look at my phone, and thank you, Veronica, because she did uh, earlier. Um, I tend to look at my phone because it sits in front of me on silent. If I'm constantly opening up that screen, I lose half of my screen. So it, it's difficult to do the presentation and click where I need to. Uh, by opening the box. So I apologize and I hope you didn't lose too much. Uh, and hopefully uh, my computer will behave itself. My last CMA, which is what I was working on before you guys dialed in, um, I was not able to upload the custom CMA. Sorry, Veronica, I'm going to keep trying um, because the, my, my computer turned off in the middle of the download. I could watch it for some unknown reason I can't post it, uh, but I will keep trying. So um, I'm looking at the attendee list to see if I have any hands up. I'm not seeing any hands up. And I am not seeing any questions posted in the, um, in the bottom here. Um, so I'm going to assume everybody's good to go. 
Um, again, for anyone that knows anyone or any of the managers on the call, um, direct everyone uh, to the pre-record. I'm hoping that it will download quickly. And uh, to that, I am going to say good night and enjoy dinner. We'll talk to you guys soon.